Morning, beautiful. It's morning? Mm-hmm. What are we still doing on the couch? No, you fell asleep last night. I didn't have the heart to wake you. I haven't slept that well in... in forever. <laughs> How about you? Oh, I had you in my arms. I was in heaven. I've forgotten how peaceful this house is. <clears throat> yeah, it is now. What does that mean? Nothing. Nothing. I just like having you guys around, that's all. Kind of be nice to have you around forever. I can't think of a place I'd rather be. Upstairs, check on Parker. No, you know what? Let me do that for you. Jeff, please. I want to. It's been a long time since I've seen that little guy wake up. Oh, but you're going to have plenty of time to do that. What's the rush? Jack. What? You get the door. I'll check on Parker. Hey, Margo. Business or pleasure? No, yes. Listen, if this is about that case that, that Simon took on, listen, I'm... I got a fax from the German government. They got him, Jack. The doctor who performed those experiments on Carly, Emily, and Rose. You're kidding. They got Weston? What? <laughs> this is great! This is great. Well, well, when's he gonna be here? He's being extradited as we speak. So, when's Weston's ETA? Well, Jack, we could have him here in the country by day's end if we could just cut through some of the red tape. All right, you know what? Let me make a few calls to this guy I know at the Bureau, see if I can make things faster. Great, thanks. Hopefully he can repair some of the damage he did to Carly and Rose, not to mention let us know where Emily is. So, you ready to get back to work? Yeah, yeah, just let me shower, shave, I'll grab something to eat, and I'll be there in about an hour. I want to tell Carly the good news. Hey, you know, um, maybe you should hold off telling Carly about Weston. I mean, with Stembeck on the loose, it's still a wild card, anything could happen. And even if we get, uh, you know, Weston extradited, it's no saying that he's going to play ball with well, this Oh, Jack. he'll play ball, all right, but... Yeah, maybe you're right about not telling Carly. She's had enough disappointments for a while. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get back to the cop shop. Just wanted to spread the good news. All right, thank you so much, yeah. Margo. Hey, <laughs> what happened? Where's Parker? Oh, he's completely zonked, sleeping peacefully. Oh. Who's at the door? There's Margo. She just had to brief me on a case. So, you ready for breakfast? Yeah. Hey, Jack. What happened to the master bedroom? Well, what do you mean? It's bizarre. There's not a stick of furniture in there. It's empty. What happened while I was gone? I just didn't feel like sleeping in that room anymore, so I decided it was time for so a change. you decided it was, what, time to, to trash everything in sight? Hey, Carly, you know me. Cavemen want space, cavemen make space. Now, cavemen want to cook, so what do you want for breakfast? Charred pancakes or charred bacon? Hey! How about a heaping helping of the truth, Jack? Something happened that's obvious. And I'm gonna find out what it is, and you can tell me. I can call Margot, I can call Holden, or you can tell me the truth yourself. Okay. It's not easy to talk about. Whatever it is, Jack, you know I love you. Just start at the beginning. Um, while you were gone, I found a lead on where you might be, and I was on my way to France when Stenbeck found out about it and made sure I didn't make that flight. What happened? Somehow, I, I don't know how. Maybe he bribed people. Maybe he hacked uh, into computers. I don't know, but... He got Julia released from the hospital. What? I cannot believe that. Yeah, neither could I. She showed up here, armed with a stun gun, rope, straight jacket, pharmaceuticals, you name it, she had it. And she... She held me prisoner for a while. She held you prisoner? Yeah. You said a while. 
for how long, Jack? Why didn't anybody stop Nobody her? Nobody knew she was free, and everyone thought I was in Europe. We were alone here for days before anyone suspected. She kept me tied to the bed, sedated. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's why I can't sleep in that room anymore, Carly. What did she do to you? You know, none of that, none of that matters Jack? anymore. What did she want? She wanted me to pay. <laughs> she thought I owed her for ruining her life. Something happened, Jack. I can tell. Something terrible. Too terrible to talk about? Because you can. You can talk to me about anything, Jack. We've always been able to talk to each other. Yes. You can tell me this, Jack. Especially this. I love you. What did she want? She wanted me. She... She wanted to have sex with me. Did you? Jack? Oh, Jack. I'm sorry. God, I am so sorry, Jack. I'm so sorry that she did that to you, Jack. No, kids. I'm so sorry that I wasn't hey. here to help you, that I wasn't here to kill her, it's Jack. It's okay. It's all right. No, no this is no. not okay. Well, it can be because it's over. And it's not going to happen again. Where is she? She's gone. All right? She's... She is long gone. I'm sorry. Here I was so worried about myself. I, I didn't even think about how my being gone affected you. I never imagined that... Who could imagine something like that? It's not easy to talk about. Now I know. But I need you to know that I was not a willing participant yeah, in Jack, any of this. You know, she had drugs. You don't have to. She had drugs. She tied me Jack. down. She threatened me. Jack. Carly, I didn't have a choice. Jack. I understand. You don't have to explain it to me. God, that woman is straight from hell, Jack. I thought I hated her before. Listen. She, she's gone, all right? She can't hurt us anymore. We're together again. Hey, Parker, Parker is upstairs asleep, and I love you. That's all that matters. So this is why you can't be in your own room. Sweetie, I, don't you think maybe you should talk to somebody? Hey, about I'm talking this? to you, okay? And it's history. Listen, as soon as you fill up to it, We'll go, we'll go shopping. We'll buy some new bed and furniture. And as soon as it is delivered, I will pick you up. And I will personally carry you in that room. And I will prove to you that now that you're home, that's... That's all that matters. You're my medicine. Thank you. How did you get away from her? Well, Simon and Margo figured out what was going on. And did she really think she could win you back? <coughs> Is she that nuts? She's nuts, all right, but she wasn't looking to reconcile. Then what did she want, Jack? She wanted me dead. That's what she was through with me. She, she tied me up. Locked me in a car and let her roll into the lake. Oh, Jack. Yeah, if, if, if Margo and Simon and the guys hadn't shown up when they did... What would I do without you? How could she do that to you? How could she do no, that to you, No, don't, don't. Don't do this. Don't do that. Everything is okay. We're going to be all right. Hey, listen, we needed some new furniture around this place anyway. I hate it. I hate what she did to you. 
can't stand it. And what I hate most is that there is nothing that I can do about well, it. Well, then you know a little how I feel about Weston and what he did to you. But we can't let what happened change us. Well, it's a little too late for me with that. Well, the important <laughs> stuff hasn't changed, Carly. I still... I still get a thrill just holding your hand. Looking in your eyes, you feel your heartbeat next to mine. That stuff, that, huh, that'll never change. Hey, you gonna be all right here by yourself for a while? What, you're, you're gonna say all those wonderful things to me and you're gonna leave? Oh, yeah, well, I, you know, something came up at work that needs my, my personal attention. Need anything? Just you. Parker and I will head over to Molly's. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. I, I shouldn't be too long. That is, if something tears me away. doing here making me cry. Vicky's mother and sister, they're trying to take Bridget and Michelle away from me. Well, you are not gonna let them do that, right? Yeah, all right, I'll talk to you. Oh, this is great. What's up? Weston is en route to Oakdale as we speak. And I'm telling you, Margo, whether or not this psycho can undo the damage he's done to Rose and Carly, I am making sure that he goes down for this hard time. No, no, no state prison or white collar resort for this guy. He's going federal. Good to have him do a nicer guy. Hmm. How is Carly? She's good. Does she know about what happened while she was gone? You know about Julia? Oh, she got the gist. No, I decided to leave out the part where Julia's still on the loose, though. She doesn't need to deal with that right now. How about you? Are you dealing with the wait, Jack? Because it, the longer you keep these emotions... Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you want to, what do you want to hear, Margo? That I can hardly sleep because of the nightmares? Or when I finally do pass out, I wake up in a cold sweat wondering if Julia had found her way back? Oh, man, Jack, if that's what's happening, then... It's on. over. It's history. You really believe that? What? You know, Dr. Michael, she's a hell of a shrink. She's going to work wonders with Hal. I don't need a shrink. Jack, it's nothing. A little therapy. Finding Julia and Weston and Stembeck. That's all the therapy I need. Donna and Marley are the in-laws that give in-laws a bad name. But they were the sweetest people in the world. No, Molly, you just thought they were. And now they're finally showing their fangs and their claws. Who knows how long they've been waiting, just buying their time, waiting to snatch up those girls. They couldn't have been planning this when Jake was alive. Oh, come on, Molly. Some people will do anything to get their hands on a child. And when that person happens to be a relative as well, watch out. Where is this coming from? My beloved sister tried to do the same thing with Parker. I knew she wouldn't get very far with that. You're Parker's mommy. You have rights. And you are Bridget and Michelle's mommy. Not in the eyes of the court. You just have to prove to that court that they're wrong. And what if it gets nasty? Well, then it gets nasty. So what? Fighting dirty is our strongest suit. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I've lost Jake, and now I could lose our daughters. No. You won't. You will not lose anybody else, Molly. Not while I'm around.